Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're just tuning in this afternoon, my name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory. We did a Lego stream earlier. We were building the mock set for West Hills Main Gate sent in by Grandpa Crafter. That VOD should be up on Twitch and on YouTube under Joel Duggan VODs. And now we're going to pick up in Satisfactory where we left off yesterday working on the interior design of the copper smelting area and seeing if we can't also add some depth and detail to the outside as we build up things along the main bus in Devastator. So uh, I'm just gonna jump right in. There's really nothing else to report. We're just kind of pick up where we left off and uh, I'll hang out for the afternoon. I've got uh, Zero, T666, Sweet Sandy, Jake Christ, and Mosaic Dream all hanging out in chat right now. If you're new to the chat, please go ahead and say hello. Uh, hello. I will, of course, oh. Welcome back. Did I tell you about the time I took my dog to the park and the ducks tried to bite him? That's what I get for buying a purebred dog. <laughs> well played, Sweet Sandy. Uh, thank you for the 200 bits for the TTS sticker and the dad joke, which I think we were discussing yesterday. How much everybody in chat likes a good dad joke. Purebred dog. Uh, is Elvis a purebred? I believe you said that Elvis was a purebred at some point. Maybe avoid dog parks or duck ponds or both. Um, that's amazing. Very, very funny. Pure breed. Pure breed. Good, good to know. Good to know. So like I said, we're just going to pick up in here with the copper design. Uh, I have not gone in and figured out the changes to um, wheel jack that need to happen. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But I should be, should be right in the copper, I think. I didn't have any sound for a second. I was like, what's going on? So we're in Devastator. And yesterday we were working on uh, this area here. And I am, I'm not a fan. Uh, the window looks okay. Uh, I'm okay with the recess. But I, I don't like what's happening up here. Uh, and I don't know about this door either. I feel like I might want to push the door back rather than have the door be out front. I just, there just feels like there's a lot going on between these two things. It looks very similar and I'm not really on board with it. So I don't know exactly what I could do other than maybe have like one, one piece that mimics the whole design. I don't know. But I'm not not a big fan. Uh, inside, however, we picked up the uh, lighting yesterday. I did do a little bit of painting just for the screenshots. I painted the walls gray and added in this this orange trim uh, just to kind of have it be um, something that we could take a screenshot of and share. But the one thing that I wanted to work on uh, was this area. Uh, this I thought needed uh, at least. I feel like we can probably just use the, um, I should probably try to change this. What's X? I don't have X or Z as any kind of hotkeys and tab is okay for the build menu, but I really feel like I hit C an awful lot. Maybe I should hit B is for scanning. I wonder if I switched. I don't know if I would hit X more often than I would hit tab. So that could go in like that. And then the other one could be a total, it could be the, the top one could be this. Yeah. So we're going to get rid of these. This needs to be split like that. That doesn't have to happen right there. That could be backed up a tiny bit. Oh, I needed to dump the plastic off. That's what I needed to do. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Yeah. <sighs> 
You tried making it pink, the doorway? No, I have not. Oh, I gotta fix this hypertube, too. We'll do that when we come back down. Anything else I need to drop off? The hitboxes for some of these things are so weird. Lightens the inventory a bit. Right, let's make those changes to this here. I feel like this we could probably lower. Noodle usually looks the best. At least most of the time. And then we'll just get rid of this. And then I think that's good. Much smoother ride. I like it. Oots, hello, welcome back. Am I saying your name right, by the way? Yeah, this is a much better spot for those. I'm not crazy about going underneath to pop out, but know what we have going on right now. Uh, oh, right. That's down here. So we can just leave that the way that it is. That's splitting off there. 
feel like we can get rid of... Hmm. Just that, maybe. I don't know why this one is overflowing. I'm going to have to revisit the balance on this. It doesn't seem like this is correct. These feel like they have far less going on. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that's... They're all overstocked. Yeah, and then here we can just use that, change the material. And that's good. Now I think there were some signs over here. Rocky Desert. So I'll do that over here as well. Just so we know what's up. So it's just letting me know that it's not coming from a train. Copper one and copper two. This is coming from Scavenger as far as we know. Sorry for all the close quarters flying. I'm going to leave the ones on the inside of the wall as well, just in case I need to troubleshoot this later. Cool. So that's all coming in. This feels a little bit on the wonky side. I wonder if we could maybe have this be a little nicer. better and then maybe what we can do here is just back this up so it matches what is that the mark five has to be a mark four. Would have been nice if we could make it symmetrical, but it's not like people are going to see it. Now, the only other thing that I really don't like about this is uh, all the poles. And I think I might want to use some beams to, um, to change that. I can, like, right there. I guess we can keep them low, couldn't we? Oh no, it has to go over the belt. That's what I really should think about. So I'd say maybe there.
And this would go as far as we could make it. Probably stop it here. And I guess I would have to have something here. Where did I put it over there? Just clipping the machine. I think probably there. Hey, hey. Oh, I almost had it right. I don't know if it was that close. No, it was closer. So what I think I'll do is we'll put um, nodes like we did on the ceiling, but we'll put them along here, which will be a lot easier to power. Yeah, it's too early for a break, unfortunately. We did lose the light, but we should just be able to... That there. And then we can didn't connect to the thing. Well, that's annoying. And then we can use this. And I don't know where that comes in. I would say right there. Then we connect these two together. It's gonna droop too much. I may have to put one here. Now we should be able to start to get rid of some of these poles. It's going to shut the whole thing down. Look it back up. And also connect this to there.
And this will look a lot nicer in the end. So first row should be back on. I don't think we need any other supports along here. I guess we could cut kind of a prop it up here maybe. That would make sense. Would also hide these ugly supports that I don't like. Now I want to say orange is the way to go. But I'd be curious whether we could add some color in here with yellow. I think we'll stick with orange. Yeah. Orange and gray. Cool. So now I just have to do that a couple more times. And that looks a lot nicer, I think, than that. So we'll just have to do the same thing. Just have to make sure I can fit it in here. I don't want to do that. I want to. I think I have to use another um, foundation. actually going to create kind of a cool covered look to this as well. Why is that not? It's one over from there. Grab that. Ah, I guess we'll put these on both sides. That's how it'll all connect. here. All right, so that should now be powered so I can connect these guys. It's these two that are not connected. There we go. and 
five. Oh yeah, that much, looks much slicker. Much prefer that. So one more to go. And we'll just do the same thing, I think. Oh, I forgot to put in the supports here. And then one last time. I guess I could have left that set of foundations here. Is that too tall? How did I do that? Oh, I didn't nudge that far enough. Does anybody else do this with their power? Are they this meticulous about what they do with their power? That is incorrect. Now I can delete these. And that should be everybody back up and running. Green lights are good. Just 
just the supports in the middle and we're good. Nice. So then the only thing left is just where the power actually comes in. And that is really not the best. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff happening down here that doesn't make a lot of sense. And I have a bunch of stuff happening underneath the road that doesn't make a lot of sense. So I have room here to make like a little power room. And I think that's what I'm going to do. This is like all kinds of messy. Um, the power comes down the inside here and then goes out through here. Really what I needed to do is probably go across and come in. Well, we'll do it here, I guess. Wait, was that already there? That looks like it's connected to something. Oh, there was something there. Ah, okay. We'll have to be careful there. So I think what I need to do is have something not this. And we can have the stairs reverse and go back down. around with this later but I definitely want to be able to at least get um, up so we can either flip that or change the way that this works and this can be really come up anywhere but I do want this section here to be power section. So the power will come in from there and we're going to put our breaker in here. I guess we can just kind of put it anyway, can't, anywhere, can't we? Don't want to put it in the way, so we'll put it over here. And then we'll have to feed that up to the other stuff. not right. So 
So then that will connect to that one. I don't know why that goes up on the outside here. I really don't know where that goes. It might not be used. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's over there. What? Where does that go? Oh, this is for the lights. Okay. Well... The lights I can do hidden in the wall. That's not a problem. I also need to put that somewhere else. Uh, if the only thing coming in here is just that, we can put the lights down here and keep it separate. This is uh, maybe we'll call it level one. Barely fits. That should. I really wish they would allow you to have like two lines there. Like they could wrap the text. No, well, we messed up somewhere. Why is it shutting down? Yeah, this is satisfactory or not. Where did the cable go? Yeah, no kidding, right? So we've had this problem with the other smelters too. Like I don't understand why these are why these are smelting and shutting down. Like, is there a problem with these power switches somehow? Like, there's no reason for that to shut off. If I bypass this entirely... Yeah, there's a bug with the switch, maybe? I 
think I have a priority power switch somewhere. Oh, I wonder if this is a problem. And I need this to be over here. Yeah, that's weird. So now we've got that other thing removed. How about... We bypass that again. So maybe it was having the two the two switches was not something? Nope. So it's the switch. Well that's annoying. Uh I guess I have to add in this. Doesn't like, doesn't like this either? Weird. That's dumb. Why would it? I don't understand why that would be a problem. And then I guess to do the lights, I'll have to do this separately. Missing lights. I forgot to put those in. And then I can just move this along to being in here.
Oh, did I put a priority power switch or a power switch? I don't remember. That should all be connected. It's just this that needs power. And of course that's over too far. I try not to have stuff go through the floor, otherwise you can't see where it's going. There's all the lights back on. It's so weird how putting either a light switch or a regular switch. That's a regular power switch. Huh. I do have a priority power switch on the grid somewhere. I wonder if I've just not set it up correctly. But we've got lots of power. It shouldn't be turning anything off. Not crazy about that dangling down, but that's all right for now. Nothing down here got turned off. That's good. Yeah, I've got a lot of power, so it, like it shouldn't be a power consumption problem. Either way, that cleans up this area. Uh, I'm not going to use that, though. that all up. Uh, that can still go back. That's if we decide to keep that door. Cool. This is 30 smelters doing 900 per minute. At 600. No, 300. And then 300. And then 300 again. I don't need that. I guess I could put that back. I think that's pretty clear. Two and then three. 
Grumpa1974, hello, welcome in. So I don't know about the glass, and I don't know about this particular thing. So the tricky part here is that if I don't do this here, then it's, it becomes a real problem because this and this won't match up. I can do a, a, a single thin one there, but then I need to do something very specific here. But I'm just not sure about, like, I guess I want to turn the player that way when they come in. Rather than going down there. If that's the case, I feel like that could just come across to there. And then, what do we do here? Feels kind of funny. That's not bad. Feels strange not to have it here, but then this... When you do this with the walls, they overlap the stairs. Which makes no sense. Right? Like that just, to me, does not work. At that point, it might be better just not to have anything. Sure. Replace the stairs and they attach to the new wall. Nope. Still the same. But if I nudge them, then they don't line up to the bottom. And I think that the nudge is going to put them past the wall. Right? They don't connect. And that's the smallest nudge you have is a half meter, so it doesn't work. It's the right idea, but unfortunately the game just doesn't, doesn't do that. So this, I have no idea where this is going. So that's going up to there. That I think is powering all the underside of everything. Yeah. So uh, what I could do there is utilize 
This guy. That could just go... Well, I don't want to go straight across. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Then I should be able to delete this. And delete that. Where is that going? They both go down. One goes out. And the other one goes all the way down and connects to there, I think. Yeah. So, I can get rid of this guy, clean that up, cool, so that means that that's free and clear and I can redesign that to look however I want. So we can start to think about this room now a little bit more. It's good. Don't think I like the glass floor. And I think I want to replace this uh, with a two meter because we were having some bugs with the one meter stuff. Yeah, I don't think the glass is really necessary. Cool. Uh, where are we as far as the sun goes? Are we getting close? Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Okay. I am going to take a break because uh, I need to make sure I stick to those. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to uh, refresh my coffee. Uh, we've lost the power for the hyper tube though to work that out. Gives you a chance to grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. And I also ride the brake train, which is now goes all the way to the grass fields. There and back again. Train story. Go. Um, Megatron. Wheeljack. Construction Con 2. Cool. I'll be back in five or seven minutes, folks. Oh, did it not work? Be right back.
Not a bad time to return. On our way back to the Devastator Hub, I'm assuming. Yep. Good stuff. I bet if I took Megatron off that list, it would probably work out just about right. Whenever I'm on this side of the factory, I just think about how much work there is left to do. Thanks, Andy. No worries, Sandy. Take care. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the mod help, as always. So my, ca my camera's frozen. Hold on. When did that happen? Uh... Weird. Definitely need more lights along here. It's very dark. Oh, right. I need to power this. I need to power this guy. Oh, that should be easy. We'll just do this. I mean, this is all pretty temporary anyway. All right, so we were looking at this area here and thinking about how we're going to move along here. I do, I do like these lights here, I think. I'm just going to move them so that they're in line with the lights that are in the bay. And we'll kind of continue that idea out this way. I also kind of like that texture in the ceiling, so I think we might actually put that out here as well, at least for now. It might change in that position. So those line up roughly there.
looks about right to me. And I don't think I'm going to do the the drop here because this is a uh, Oh no. It's just. They're on the same level. Oh yeah, there's a drop ceiling. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna do that out here. I will probably. I do probably wanna hide these though. I might not put these out here. I don't know. may be better to have like two of the spotlights not spotlights what are they called wall mounted floodlights oh, can I not put that oh that's not a wall that's a inverted ramp those there for now. I don't think we're going to use them. This is meant for depth, so I need to keep that. I actually don't mind these gray walls, so we're going to keep these. I guess we'll just put regular doors. I actually don't mind this gray bottom. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Not entirely sure what's happening out here, so we'll just kind of leave that like that for now. I'm mostly concerned about the ceiling and then getting down here and doing the color. I also need to finish this off. Just wall it off like that and leave it open. Probably going to reconnect them and get rid of the glass. Well, that'll be tricky.
And I really need to figure out what's going to happen there and why. I guess that's going up there. And this is. I don't know why this is going up there and not here. I guess my plan was to have this be where I come in. So I could send that up on this side. And that just kind of goes... Oh, that's the one that squirrels around. There's actually a belt that goes across here. Yeah, that one. So that's that one there. And that goes back down? Right. Okay. So I need to get these wires into the stairwell, I guess. I really wish the hover pack was not so slidey. I feel like I slide all over the place with it. So I need to have like a proper power conduit area here. I think we can do that here. Yeah, what if we just... Have that open like that out of curiosity. Am I able to use that space all the way up? Probably. So that's the second floor. And don't know why I need it up here, but we do. All right, so that can go. This can go. So that means all of that is now under the floor. So this could be the way in, which is fine. And then we can leave that as an open conduit, but I can I just deleted something I wasn't supposed to. But I can also put in a catwalk. To not have to worry about.
That looks like it might work out just too perfectly. Is there another floor? Nope, this is the second floor. Almost right. So what I should do is I should switch this around. move. Well, can't move that. I could make it lower, I guess. didn't work because right and then this is going to have to be on this side I don't know why you can't nudge things half meters when they're connected to cables. Okay. So that's that. side around and then now the stairs up except for I still have that wire going through the stairs uh, nuts with 
this, I guess we could just leave open. I would probably bring the floor along. And then this would, I guess, be encased with some walls. Make that visible for now. I mean, I guess at that point, you don't really have to bother with this. We could just have this go sideways. Or this could be just another one of these. Too much inertia? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it should be a little bit more precise, considering like how crazy sci-fi the game is and all the things that you can do. The the jetpack does kind of like feel very floaty. It's very similar to how frustrated I get um playing creative in Minecraft. I just don't like it. I'm so used to survival. Uh what was I looking for? Gate wall. feel weird in here for a while. I like coming into this area though, like coming out to this floor at this stage. It looks good. So at least we've thought about how this is going to flow. I just really wish I could come up with a better way there always seems to be some sort of overlap. Like you can't just, they never give you options to send things the way that you want. Um, I don't, I guess I like that all right. Yeah, I'd like to have this be a two meter. Don't know if that makes sense. Maybe we'll leave it just like that. Um, I do want to change the floor holes. The easiest one is going to be this one. It's a mark four going down, mark five. So that's one problem that should be the same. 
five, four, five. That's one meter. So we are going to have to drop that down for now. Having an edge to it might be okay. For folks wondering the uh, one meter wall holes are bugged. Do we? Is there a way that I can do this? Um, I think at one point they were lined up. I think it's because of the way that it goes on the top. But I might be able to do this a little bit more creative maneuvering. Yeah, I think I can still put this together evenly and have it look good. My, my guess is that this is going to be too tight of a turn for that. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Could I bring it in from the front? That one comes in, that one goes out for the side. This one is coming in from the, no, out, that goes out. Yeah, there's no easy way. Bring that along, that's on the outside. And that just goes out. That probably goes out too. Outside. Uh, we could sort of clip it through if we keep the door. Very cheaty. It's uh, annoying. I really do wish the belts made tighter turns. Especially when it comes to the... I think these things are... are um, a meter and a half too wide. I think they should stop right there. Without the accordion bit, I think they should just stop right there. You'd have you'd be able to make much tighter turns with them. Hmm. I'm sure I've pondered this before. Yep, I guess I'll just put it back.
and then this will just connect down this way. And head out that way. And I just have to do the same thing for these. So the one on the left was going straight out to there. We have this new belts um, method too, which works out really well. We did not have that before. That should actually just hook up, did it not? Okay, that's back to normal. Things are flowing. I like it, I like it. We could do this up top too. Don't know why it won't let me add that. It's annoying. And we'll make those orange belts, I guess. And then I was also thinking about using the small frame pillar. We'll do both layers. Yeah, feels pretty industrial. I'm not sure about the yellow. I may I may want to change that. Actually, we could. We switched out some of these. So, all of this could go orange.
that actually looks okay. Um, and then... Hmm. We did that. Uh, oh no, that doesn't work with the door. Right, that's kind of funny with the door. That doesn't look the best over here. That's okay. That was, that's not bad. We could switch this back to match that. And then we don't have any weird colors hanging down on the door. Nice. There's always some sort of compromise happening here. Now, do I want to do a beam to cover up this edge? That'll put some color in here. Doesn't have to be orange. We could always make it darker. I think I like that. Do I want it out here too? Sure, I like that. It needs something, but I don't know if that's what it needs. Now, is that that outside? It is. Nuts. Well, it's gray. You probably can't notice it. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I think it looks better without it, actually. Uh, and then what do we do here? Do we do maybe a solid line? Right with that. Uh, now we just need to figure out how to get this to look correct because this goes to the outside. And this is there a reason why that has to go up right there? That's where that goes into there. And that's the entrance. Could I take this up? No. Well, I could. Except for then that overlaps that. Well, that was a problem, I think, from the outside design, or was it this other one? I can't remember. One of these, one of these belts was a problem. Outside. Yeah, that needs to go in a different spot. This is an export, I 
think I need to take that down and under. Because that just ends up going... Yeah, maybe we should just take that in a completely different direction. Yeah, that should probably go that away. Because it's supposed to eventually go, I think, onto stators and rotors. Over here. So that will have to get moved. And where does that go? All the way down here. Oh, are you exiting the building? You are. Son of a gun. If I take that and send it this way... Yeah, there's no way to get it down there. So that's why I didn't do that. Okay. I think that could exit the building a lot sooner. Because it has to connect to... One of these. One of those belts. So it could easily come back down here somewhere. Yeah, I feel like we could take that down here. And I mean, there's nowhere to send it there. That's from this level, right. Oh, the puzzles. I mean, I could just dip it underneath that and bring it in tighter to the wall. That's a possibility. We could have something hanging from the ceiling here. That wouldn't be the, the end of the world. A little character. All right, let's try that. Let's try this is a Mark V. That's going to go down into here, cross into there. It's going to come up. Or I guess I could put it in over here. Yeah, I got confused about where that was going to go. So 
So this is just going to go in there. These are going to connect. Whoa, that's a giant hole. This might just give me enough room to maneuver things. <laughs> really, really tricky, but it's it's in there. Just gives me a little bit more room here to do something. I'm just not crazy about these weird, like, stacked windows. I feel like maybe this should just go straight up the whole thing. And maybe we end up not having any windows here. Even though it would make sense to have a nice window there. It would be cool to have a, a slot window there. And then another one here, maybe? And our wiring is all exposed, but that's fine. I think it would be nice to divide the space a little bit better. I feel like this window could be a lot longer too. Have it um, go with the shape of the building. see that having that stop there is weird like I feel like this would almost want to stop in the same place as the other windows but then that feels strange So we can go and have a really long window. Then that messes up with where we want to come up for our stairs too. I guess I should think about that. That's probably going to be here.
Oh, nope, that's the wrong floor. Probably want to have the wall there. So the window would more than likely stop at that point. Or here. So we could have like one giant window along the whole thing. And we would probably have some sort of like, not the exact same angle. Oh, crap. Well, there goes the game. Every once in a while I delete something, I end up losing, losing the game. Uh, actually, this is about where I need to wrap things up anyway. So we will flip over. I'm going to see who's playing satisfactory so I can pass you all along. Hey, you know what? I'm Kibitz is playing Satisfactory. I think you'll enjoy your time there. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out for the afternoon. Uh, a lot of fun doing some Lego stuff early on. Uh, even more fun doing some design here in Satisfactory. And uh, all the VODs will be on Joel Duggan VODs uh, on, probably tomorrow and the next day. I tend to post about one a day. So you can you can check that out at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Check me out on social media. Joel Duggan, very easy to find. Podcasts. Uh, the Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Chunks are all available on your favorite podcasting app as well as YouTube. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow, Saturday at one o'clock Atlantic for some Minecraft. We are messing around in a four-year-old medieval town build. It's massive. And uh, if you are at all a fan of Minecraft, I think you'll enjoy that build. So come on by tomorrow and I'll see you all then. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday and enjoy I'm Kibitz, a fellow Canadian satisfactory streamer. Bye for now.